five-star recruits have made their decisions while some are still holding out. To break down everything going on in the world of recruiting, let's welcome in Alan True with Scout.com. Alan, rumors swirling that Mac Brown will step down as the Texas Longhorns head coach in the near future. He just had a press conference, did not address any of those rumors. But how has the mayhem in Austin affected recruiting? I think so far it's a little bit too early to tell. I think the recruits are just waiting to see what will happen. We had some analysts speak to uh, their commits last night. And the prevailing opinion with most of them is that they grew up as Texas fans. Texas is where they want to be. A lot of kids from in-state. And uh, I think those kids will stay. A couple of them have said it, they would be disappointed if Coach Brown left and they would want to wait it out and see who uh, is the next coach if he does indeed step down. Well, the next coach is rumored to be Nick Saban. How has recruitment at Alabama been affected by all of this? Uh, so far, it hasn't been affected too much. Again, I think it's a little bit early, and it's just rumor right now. So I think maybe kids just have one eye on it just to make sure uh, that nothing really happens there. But so far, uh, again, it's just a wait-and-see approach for most of those recruits. Okay, well, speaking of Alabama, earlier this week, we saw a four-star recruit who had previously committed to the Crimson Tide make the switch to Auburn. Alan, now that the national title stage is set between the Tigers and the Seminoles, are recruits leaning more in their direction? Uh, well, they've both picked up commitments recently. You mentioned Auburn being able to flip another Alabama commit. So the Tigers are certainly capitalizing on the momentum uh, of being in the national title game. Florida State has a couple of big official visitors this weekend. Frank Ragnow coming down uh, all the way from Minnesota, a four-star offensive lineman. So uh, certainly both are seeing a little bit of a surge due to their success from this season. I'm sure it helps that both coaches also just signed contract extensions. Alan True, thank you so much for the time.